Hello dwellers and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase. Today I'm doing the Better World mod. It's a highly underrated mod that adds lots of content to Minecraft. And before I even get in depth about all the things that this mod does, just know that there's a link in the description that you can click on and download this mod for yourself. So, I guess we're going to get right into it. So this mod adds lots of new things, new biomes, I'll get into that later. Um, it adds a few new mechanics to Minecraft, it adds new weapons, a few new mobs, and just, it's really awesome. So, um, let's just get into it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is that when you break gravel, um, you will still get just a plain old gravel block. But, uh, there's a new weapon in the game that's called the slingshot. It's like a weaker version of the bow. Ow. And I forgot to tell you, this is barbed wire right here. It does two hearts of damage. I just, you know, demonstrated that by accidentally touching it. Ouch. So, anyway, um... So, I also have not enough items on, so I can just show you the item recipes for, like, the slingshot, which is what I'm telling you about the rocks. Um, you put the gravel in there, and it automatically give you some stone. So, you just get the stone. That's the ammo for a slingshot, and the slingshot uses this recipe. So, you get three sticks and two string, and you make it like that. And like I said earlier, um, the slingshot is basically a weaker version of the bow. So, you would hold down, you know, your right button, and just release it when it's fully released. Even the rock, I like how it just sticks, so it's like you can make a smiley face, watch, dot, dot, at, 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 ah, smiley face, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> I love doing that, now it's a lot weaker than a bow, so, I mean, if you can make a bow, then you should obviously make the bow instead, and actually there's another weapon here that's called the ninja throwing star, that you make it like this, and these things are overkill. You want me to demonstrate? Hello, so here we have Mr. Creepy. I just like to call Mr. Creepy Mr. Creepy because Mr. Creepy is Mr. Creepy. So, we're going to use a slingshot, and let's just count how many times uh, Mr. Creepy takes to hit. So if we actually have any ammo, one, okay, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It takes seven hits with the slingshot to kill a creeper. Um, now with the ninja throwing star, if we... Ah, no, no! Oh, 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 you thought you are going to explode on me. Not going to happen. With the ninja throwing star, if we just attack it once... Ah, he's still alive. Two, he's dead. So it does almost half the creeper's hearts in one hit. Now, I mean, you can kill pig, sheep in one hit with this thing. It's really good. And you can rapid fire it, too, so you can be like... Ow! Overkill. So, that's... I love the ninja throwing stars. Those are freaking awesome. There's one other weapon, the shiv, right here, and you make it like this. You need some broken glass, which I should probably demonstrate on how you get that. So, here's some glass. It's just standing there. And all you do is you bash it with your hand. And there you go. I also broke the shiv because I'm an idiot, but it's okay because I can just cheat and get them back in there. But as you see, when you break the glass in survival mode, it actually gives you a new item. These are broken glass, and like I said earlier, you can um, repair it. You can either... Use the broken glass to make a shiv, which is basically what you should probably do. You can also actually repair the glass by putting it into a furnace and smelting it. So, if you have some glass and you want to, you know, make sure that you want more glass and you want it back, like, you don't actually waste the glass when you break it anymore. You can actually recycle it and make some more glass by just putting it in the furnace, which is actually, now that I think about it, a really cool idea. Because when you break glass normally, you don't really get it back. It's just gone. So, now this shiv is the strongest weapon in Minecraft right now, if you include the mod. Um, because what happens, I'll just walk over to this creeper. I'll be like, hey, what's up? You're dead. Um, but if you do notice, that the shiv only takes two hits. If you It can only do two hits. So, I mean, it has like the weakest durability of anything ever. So I can just be like, bam. Um, if I kill another mob, <laughs> it will break. Um, it's the bar. Look, look, at, look at that. It's already empty. It's just barely alive. Uh, so, I mean, the shiv is really, really powerful, but it's very, very useless, too, if you want a long-standing weapon. Now, it's really good for Minecraft PvP if you have a server, and this is this is not actually multiplayer compatible, but if you were, and you were in a, you know, situation, uh, that'd probably, you'd win. <laughs> so, okay, so we also have some new food. We have marshmallows, and we have s'mores, and you make the marshmallow like this. You get some sugar and some bone meal. I don't know what, you know, I, I, I don't, myself, I wouldn't want to ingest bone meal. But, I mean, 
honestly, that is pretty um, accurate to how marshmallows are really made. And when I figured that out, that's kind of disgusting. It's just like gelatin. It's made out of a powdered cow hoof, which is made out of the same stuff as your fingernails and your hair. It's called keratin. Anyway, and then the best part is, though, I don't care. Marshmallows are delicious, so I'll still eat them. And then if you make a s'more, oh my god, are they great. So you can make s'mores in this game. Who doesn't want to have s'mores in their Minecraft? I know I sure do. Um, so let's see, looking through here, we also got the soul stones. I believe these are monster drops, but they don't do anything at the current moment. He's planning on doing something with them later on, um, but currently they don't do anything. They just look pretty. And boy, do they. Let's place one down. I don't think we can. There we go. Look at that. Looks like a diamond with a, like a glowing sphere inside of it. Now this right here is thumper wool. And um, there's, an, like I said earlier, there are new mobs. I haven't really encountered any of them, but I know what they are. Um, the one that this one particularly comes from is called the Thumper, which is a gigantic square rabbit thing. It looks cute, but it's going to kill you. Um, and what's really cool about the Thumper wool is that it has the property of shooting you 10 feet up into the air. Or 10 blocks. Oh, crap! Oh, man! Oh, man! That was another thing I just demonstrated. Um, so it shoots you up in the air, but you do take the damage. And actually, I landed right where I wanted to, but I forgot to be on creative mode. So I died. Um, I just set off this block. You can see it right here, like by my hand. Like my hand's like spazzing out, like trying to reach for it. Those blocks that are like black and covered in eye, or black and covered in glass are bombs. And let's just actually just get there. Um, let's just switch back to creative mode. I should have just foreseen that, but I'm a stupid head. So let's just go back. It's not that far. It's just right over there. Um, right there is actually another biome that I'm going to tell you about, the Dusk Forest. We're going to check that out in a little bit. We're almost done with the showcasing of the items and the mechanics. I just exploded, but um, <laughs> it should be fine. So right here is some new wood. It's uh, burnt wood. And it comes in a new biome, too. Let's just pick up everything, because I'm stupid and forgot to trigger my creative mode. So, let's just clean up everything. Okay, cool. So, oh, it's turning nighttime, too. Let's fix that. Um, let's set time to noon. So, anyway, this is burnt wood, or charred wood. And this is in another biome called the Burnt Woods. And, obviously, the wood's on or like, the wood's burnt. It's now, like, a charcoal -y. And there's a new block here. Ah, quit launching me in the air. That's the only thing I don't like about the Thumper blocks is they will launch you. And you will probably die. Um, this is actually ashes. And what's really cool is if you wash the ashes off, like if I get some ashes and we get the Thumper wool, um, you can actually, if we go over here, if I can find it, where are you? Where are the ashes? Let's see. There they are. Oh, this is dust. It's not actually ashes, it's dust. But if we get the, you know, the, um... The, the dust and we get this bucket and we go to a crafting area come on let's ask for the bath bath I love how I said that you put the dust in there you put the water in there and you wash it off and get clay pretty cool that's pretty smart uh, dust and water make clay um, which you know makes bricks a lot easier to get because you can literally go to any burnt forest biome just harvest all the dust get a couple of buckets of water and you'll have an infinite clay source which is pretty cool because clay is still pretty rare even in this version of Minecraft. Now these right here, like I said earlier, are barbed wire fences or gates or whatever we want to call them. And um, the barbed wire is made like this. And I like how you use five but you get six. That's pretty, you know, economical. And these right here are the bombs. Now, <laughs> these bombs definitely are very... They're, they're just like TNT except they run off a shorter fuse. Uh, they had the same blast radius, everything like that. I forgot that I switched modes. Dang it, I'm a stupid head. Let's just try to do that. There we go. Oh, boy. Okay, so this, this mod showcase is not being very, very, very professional, but it's really awesome. So the barbed wire, you make it like that, and that's about it, really. Um, the s'mores and the marshmallows, they heal your health, obviously. Now let's go into a, a little biome showcase. So here we have the dank forest biome. It's just basically a, um, it, it uses mycelium's color for the floor, and everything just looks really dank. All the trees are really tall, so it's a really good place to get some, uh, wood. Giggity. Um, mobs do spawn in here because it's really close together, so m not much light actually appears in here. Uh, the piggies, I don't see any monsters. Ah! Who put that tree in my face? And it's kind of hard to actually navigate. You get lost in here really easy. Um, that's actually the purpose of this 
particular biome because uh, this was modeled on where the um, the mod's creator he got lost in here as a kid. He got lost in a forest very similar to this as a child, and he modeled it after that. So there's a few other uh, biomes that I'm going to show you now. So I'll be right back. And here's another biome that was introduced in this mod. This is the plateau biome. Now I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look much different from a uh, you know mountain biome, but it is actually because it's a lot flatter on the top, and uh, they occur a little more frequently. So that's pretty cool. The other one is the Technicolor Dreamland, but you can only have it. It's toggleable because I mean um, I don't have it toggled because of how jarring it is from the rest of the Minecraft. Basically, you get bright green trees, you get red trees in the grass, and this is weird. It looks like you're tripping out through 3D glasses. Um, so I didn't really want to um, put that in my game. Um, now we're going to do the mods, or the mobs, not the mods, because obviously we're not, um, we're already doing the mod. So let's just turn on, um, we're making sure we're on normal. I'll put it on hard, actually. And uh, we're going to switch the time to noon, no, midnight. There we go. <laughs> Why noon? You're such a stupid caveman. Okay, so we're going to just, you know, go through here. And hopefully some of these mobs should spawn. Um, the ones we're trying to find are the thumper. We're also trying to find some mimics. Now, the mimics are hard to find because they actually are textured like tree logs. Oh, well, here's a new mob, too. These are bats. And while they're kind of like just flying on the, the low, they're low flyers right now. Um, this is actually a glitch and they'll be updated in the next version. But they look like rats with wings and <laughs> they're actually pretty vicious. Their eyes glow and, well, no, they don't. They're just red, but they still, they're, they're pretty vicious for what they are. Let's, let's switch to, um, let's switch to survival mode and these things will come right at you. Ow! One and a half hearts. Dang, you're a strong bat. Ah! And they also swarm you. So, I mean, it's going to be painful. Leave me alone. Don't you look at me like that. I will sue you. So anyway, those are the bats. Um, let's just try to find the thumper now. The thumper's, that's a chicken. We're being chased by bats. <laughs> you can't fly even though you are flying. That's funny. Okay, so where would a thumper be? Or a mimic. Now the mimics take on the textures of the trees. They also take on uh, cactus texture. Ah, here we go. Here are some mimics. Now they look kind of like creepers, but they're not. It, actually, they look like a cross between a creeper and a testificate. That's kind of weird. I didn't notice that really. Let's give them, let's give me a weapon. See how strong they are. Let's use the throwing stars because those are pretty freaking awesome. There we go. Throwing star. One hit, two hit, and they drop the orbs. They don't do anything yet, but I mean that's pretty cool. Mimics are dying like everywhere. Freaking awesome. Am I right? Let's see if we can find the thumper. And then that should be about everything that this mod has to offer. Um, now the thumpers are very formidable. They, I believe, send you flying up in the air when they attack. Uh, if I could just find one. They're pretty cute, too. So they got the cuteness factor going on, too. So like, oh, look at the little thump. Oh, crap, he killed me. Must find the thumper. Where is the thumper? Thump, thump, thumpity thump. Thumper? Where art thou, thumper? NPC Village. With some cactus mimics. <laughs> oh, that's pretty smart. Now, they'll just stand still until they notice you. And then they'll look at you and be like, What are you looking at? I'm going to kill you. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. You are dead. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man. I guess we can't find the actual um, thumper. That's the only mob that we haven't found yet. Because um, the, the bats and the... Mimics are about the other, you know, they're about the only mobs that you can actually find here. And I don't see any thumpers, which is kind of sad because they're pretty cute. And they do give you those uh, launching blocks. So, anyway, um, that's about all this mod showcase has to offer. It's a really underrated mod. You should definitely check it out. I mean, what's what do you got to lose? You get barbed wire, you get new mobs, you get mimics. Those will actually, you know, F your shiz up a little bit. <laughs> there was two in there. That's pretty... Weird. You get ninja throwing stars and s'mores. I mean, what else is there to ask for? So, uh, definitely click the link in the description. Check out the mod. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.